Hi guys, Olga Sobi here and today I'm gonna be pouring with a tree art liquid glass pouring medium slash finish but today I'm gonna um, mix it half with a Floritrol I have already mixed it, that's why my bottle is empty but I kind of wanted to still keep it so you guys can visualize what product I'm using so I have mixed one part of um, liquid glass and one part of Floritrol and this is the consistency I got, I still have a little bit left and I just want to show you that uh, maybe I should grab a stick I would say that the consistency of this mixture is just perfect for pouring it's not too thin, it's not too thick I think it should work good I mean I'm not sure but looks very promising, no water and I don't want to add any water today that's why I'm pretty excited that this looks workable to me. So I have mixed this pouring medium with Arteza acrylics. And like I said, no water. And I got a pretty good consistency. See, it's nice and smooth and creamy, but I had the problem with one of the colors. I'm gonna show you guys. So I, I was planning to pour with these five colors here, the gold, the white, uh, phthalo blue and black. And I also wanted to use the phthalo green but for some reason I couldn't over mix it completely I still have bumps in the mixture uh, it's probably gonna be very hard to show you guys because they're very small they are small but they are a trouble once you are tilting because they break the lines and I want to go for a ring pour so yeah, I don't know why four colors have overmixed just beautifully and the fifth one still has those bumps, but I don't want to use it, I don't want to mess up my pour. And let me know guys, let me know if you ever had this problem with this product. I'm gonna work right on the mat today and I'm gonna go for double ring pour. I kind of already have the idea of how I want to position my colors. Okay, so I'm gonna do the double rain pour. I must say that I see some bumps of the paint which is so unfortunate uh, I don't know from which color it is and I have actually met, spent a lot of time mixing the paint so it's not because I didn't mix enough that's very frustrating but I like the pour Well, I must say that I really like the way the uh, Tree Art Liquid Glass and the Floor Troll Duo worked out so far. Of course, need to see how it's gonna look when dry. But the way it holds the shape of the rings, just beautiful and overall looks very nice. Hey guys, so it's dry and it's strange. <laughs> so it did change a lot while drying. It spread and I lost quite a bit on this side and this side also spread a lot. And not only it spread, it also created a whole lot of like small like bubble looking cells 
And I wouldn't call it a complete fail because I think it looks like a snow blizzard and it's kind of cool. It's a very cool effect, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not what I was expecting, right? And also most of the gold has dissolved and um, I actually think this, is, this has something to do with the paint because not only gold has synced and dissolved in the other colors, but also despite the fact that I stirred and mixed my paints a lot, I still got, you know, those small bumps of not overmixed paint. I have a lot of questions to this paint, but I am going to experiment with it more and see maybe I'm going to find a perfect way of using it. So my bottle of tree art is empty, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to order one more and I want to experiment more with combining it maybe with Floyd Troll, but I think I'm going to add another pouring medium or something as well to improve the properties of this uh, pour. And also, do you remember I showed you this uh, silicone mat in the other video and I just want to quickly show you how easy it is to clean it. Like, this is just so satisfying. I'm gonna put it aside and... Oh, look at that! Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. Okay. So this is important. I'm glad I did it on the camera because this shows that all the gold pigments has synced to the bottom. Because see, no gold here. Ta-da! There it is. I actually like this side a lot. I think I'm gonna use it for the jewelry. It's very pretty. So yeah, found my gold. But yeah, this silicone mat is super easy for the cleaning and it doesn't stain everything. Like I tried so much on it, everything peels right off. If you want to get more information about it, I'm going to include everything in the description. All right, my friends, that's everything for today. Please like this video if you liked it. And thank you so much for watching. Happy pouring. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.